Plushy Productions presents a Plushy News Network special special report. report, we've got some special, special news about the plushy presidential debates. We're having our first debate, and our only debate, right now, with Dodos and some random crazy people. Now, to Dodos. Oh yes, thanks Anderson, I mean Black Stripe. So, um, anyway, um, you, we got a huge crowd behind me, as you can see. They're all excited for the next pre president of the United Brooms of the House. So, uh, yeah, anyway, let me show you all the candidates right now. Here we are. So, uh, yeah, now let's begin with the opening statements. We'll begin with Governor Dave Durinka. Okay, so right now, currently, there are so many stuffed animals who are homeless, don't have any money, and cannot even, like, take care of themselves, let alone, like, their kids or, or their family. However, if you elect me as president, I will change all of that by raising the minimum wage so everyone can have at least enough money to um, have food for their children and, of course, themselves. And as for the frequent vacuum attacks, we, uh, I thought of this brilliant idea, which I can't believe no one has thought of, which is instead the vacuums want to clean up, right? But in the process, they are, you know, destroying homes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the job for them. We're going to clean up our roads and our streets so they don't have to so they don't have to do it for us. And now we're moving on to Secretary Dream. Thank you. If I become president, I will make Stuffed Animal City clean again. Right now it's so messy everywhere and I will make everything clean and orderly and everything will just, it'll, there will just be so much more order to everything and everyone will be happier. Okay, now to businessman Quackers. Ahem, <clears throat> yeah, right, yeah. Well, I know I'm gonna be elected, so, but I'll, I'll, I'll take the time to tell you what I'm gonna do to you. I mean, with you, I mean, for you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna uh, make lots and lots of, I mean, I'm going to make factories that will make cash cash yeah for me i'm gonna be so rich i mean for you i mean it's for you it's for the it's for the entire place you know it's gonna be great everybody's gonna love it it's gonna be huge it's gonna be great i mean i mean we're finally gonna be rich again you know what i mean i mean you know i'll probably tax y'all maybe 90 percent or something but i wouldn't that's all in the fine print i haven't finalized anything yet so you know, just let me do it. I mean, it's kind of hard to explain the plans, but, you know, I'm telling you, you, you know, believe me. Elect me, and you will not be disappointed. That's really what I'm saying. Is that simple? Okay, and finally we have, uh, I don't actually know what rank in politics he is. Anyway, uh, yeah, next is Mr. Berlin. <coughs> His name is Stubby Bear, gosh. <coughs> oh, okay, okay, uh, Mr. Stubby Bear. All right, what's up, homies of the United, you know, houses of rooms of the house? And you know, I'm I'm Saber, and I'm just gonna, you know, run for uh, the office because I think I've got great ideas, and and you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do all kinds of cool things. Um, is that it? Well, that's what you do in a campaign, isn't it? Um, let's just move on. So this first question is for all of you candidates. What are you guys going to do with the frequent vacuum attacks destroying such animal homes? Well, as I explained in my opening statement, one of the main things I'm going to do is take care of vacuums. And the way I'm going to do that is pretty much just doing what they're doing, just cleaning up, except not destroying plushy homes in the process. Well, my plan is to let them come. We will clear a path for them. We'll move to a separate room where they are not, and then we will let them clean yeah, up our city, because that's what it needs. 
wouldn't it be kind of tiresome considering that, you know, every time a vacuum comes you would have to like move to a different room? That's kind of a big deal. Well, first of all, vacuums don't come all that often, so when it does happen, it won't be... It, it'll be a thing that happens every once in a while, and we'll work out a system to make it work. Uh, anyway, quackers? Oh, oh, it's gonna be crazy. We are not taking anything anymore. No, we're gonna destroy all vacuums. I am talking torture. I am talking destruction. I am talking bombs. I am talking total nuclear war. It's anything goes. Because I'm telling you, believe me, we are going to be great again. That's it. That's the way it's going to be. Just elect me. Just I'm telling you, just let me do it. Um, okay. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, next is Mr. Stuffy Bear. Mr. Stuffy Bear. Okay, so what I'm going to do with vacuums is, uh, you know, if they keep attacking us, I'm just, I think I'm just going to get a big group of stuffed animals and, you know, Come, go over there and like just politely ask the vacuums to you know leave us alone. I mean, uh, there's plenty of other places to vacuum. Why do they have to vacuum in Sustainable City and ruin their and ruin our day? I mean, come on. Ahem, <clears throat> Dave Durenko, you're boring. How are you going to get crazy and awesome people like me to vote for you? Cause you're too boring. Well, if you think I'm boring, take a look at Dream. Hey. But in all seriousness, it's really your choice to make. You can think that, you know, I'm boring, or Dream's boring, or anyone else on this stage is boring, but there will be other people that would disagree with you on that, and those are the people that I'm uh, hoping that would support me. Well, I'm still not voting for you. Find it. <laughs> How unprofessional. Um, anyways, l let's move on. So, the next question I have is for Quackers. How do you like plan to do all the things you are proposing with all the legal stuff in the way and whatnot. Oh uh, yeah, that's not gonna be a problem. I mean, first of all, you know, when people, uh, you know, when I tell people what to do, you know, they just do it. And it, it really doesn't matter what the laws are. I mean, that that's actually how things work. But you know, if we feel like it, we'll change the laws. I and mean, we can do that too. We can just tell lawmakers, hey, time to change the laws, you know, and they'll do it. Trust me, they're gonna do whatever I say. Well, okay then. Point the camera at me. Okay, okay. So <clears throat> my question is for Stay Bear. How you will make it so how will you make it so poor people like me can afford chocolate bars again? Oh, okay, well I have a plan for that. Because, you know, I'm probably gonna like lower the prices for everything so everyone can buy everything. It's gonna be awesome. And I'm especially gonna lower the prices on chocolate bars. God, why am I even here? <laughs> Alright, anyway, the next question I have is for Dream. So <clears throat> Dream. How do you intend to get animals to have more jobs and stuff? Well, Dodos, we are going to have a lot more cleaning jobs, and they'll be paid for by the government. And we're going to lower the minimum wage, so that way more people can hire people. Okay, can I respond? Uh, Alright, so studies have actually shown that raising the minimum wage is better than, for jobs than lowering it. It's kind of complicated, so I won't explain it here. But yeah, how do you expect lowering the minimum wage will um, give people more jobs if these studies exist. What studies? How would that even work? Of course, if you lower the minimum wage, then people, then employers will be able to uh, afford more employees. Well, I can't explain the whole entire study here right now. It's kind of complicated, and I'll have to do it off the top of my head. But, yeah. Well, then how are you going to expecting people to vote for you just because of some study that you haven't, that you just mentioned? Ladies, ladies, calm down. Yeah. Um, I'm not a lady. I know, but I don't care! Now, anyways, stay there. How are you gonna make Finny afford a home since Finny is very poor, unfortunately? And it seems like everyone else but Finny has a home. So, how are you gonna make Finny have, uh, get a home? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna personally give you lots and lots of money for my campaign, Finch, and, you know, make sure that you get a house. Because, you know, you're a very important person to me. A anyway, um, if there's no room, then we'll go downstairs, I'm telling you. We'll go downstairs and make more room. And if the girls complain, I'll politely ask them to hush up, just like I did with the vacuums. Um, what about everyone else? Okay, well, I'll try to get you guys more houses, but, you know, Finch is my highest priority. That and all the other crazies. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, when, when I'm in charge, I won't even have to try. I mean, it's just going to be houses, 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 houses. I mean, 20 for everyone. It's going to be crazy. Just, you know. How the heck are you going to do that? Can we please just have a civilized debate? You guys are acting like animals. Um, we kind of are animals. Figure of speech, Stuffy Bear. Okay, guys, we've just about reached the end of the debate. So, how about you guys do your closing statements? Okay. So when voting, think about everyone here today. Who made the most sense and had overall the most reasonable views? I hope you make the right choice. If you want a dirty, barbaric, chaotic town, then don't vote for me. However, if you want exactly the opposite of that, a clean, civilized, orderly town, then I hope you vote for me, because I would be the right choice. So. In summary, do yourselves and me a big favor! Elect me, let me print tons and tons of cash for me! I, I mean, for you. I mean, it's more, I mean, well, it's hard to explain, but uh, don't worry about it. You know, the details are not important, but, uh, you know, just, just elect me. Just do it, because you know what? It, it's too complicated. You know, I know you guys are poorly educated, a lot of you, and it's like, you know what? I don't want you to break your brains or whatnot. Just, just do it. Just do it. Dave Drinkum, stupid. That is all. And so, that was about it for the debate. Now back to Anderson Cooper, I, I mean, Blackstripe. Thanks, Dodos. So that is it for the one and only plushy presidential debate. Now, it's, it's not over. Oh no, it's definitely not over. It's time for you guys to vote. You see that I in the top right of the screen? Well, it, it should work for both iPhones and computer users. If you click that, then they'll, a, a poll will come up and you can click the candidate that you want to vote for. Then, whoever has the most votes by like a month or so from now, then they will win and become the official plushy president of the United Rooms of the House. So yeah, I'm Blackstripe. Thank you and good night.